Go on. Today, my presentation is about how organizations use social media to benefit their businesses. Uh, businesses utilize social media in a calculated and a specific manner in order to communicate with their target audience. The utilization is more tactical than it would be for individuals who are, who are using similar uh, media platforms. Businesses are very strategic regarding what they want to communicate and how they communicate it and when those communications are going to be sent. Now, there are multiple social media platforms that are utilized by businesses, and I'm going to go over three of the familiar platforms today. Those three are going to be Twitter, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, and I'm going to discuss how these uh, platforms can be used to benefit their organizations or an organization. Facebook is one of the largest American social media platforms in the world. It has about 2 billion users uh, who utilize the website, and it's used for networking and advertising and a variety of updates. Uh, in order for business to successfully utilize the platform, they would, what they would need to do is uh, provide a diverse set of content that includes news updates, current events, and then links to other sources, uh, which would be like landing pages that they're associated with, uh, or pages that are associated with the organization. <coughs> uh, the content presented or posted by the organization would need to be presented during the prime time hours, or that's the optimal time, which is usually between 1 and 4 on Wednesdays, uh, and then around 3 p.m. Uh, these are considered high traffic hours for business activity <coughs> on the social media platform, and uh, that's basically the optimal time to post content for, for audiences. Facebook has a layout that also has specific spaces for businesses to post to advertisements, like on the left and right side, and also in between uh, comments. Uh, so they can be easily seen by your target audience, and then these advertisements can contain links that can be directed to uh, the organization's location of choice could be for sales or product offerings. Twitter is another popular social media platform that's used to convey messages. Twitter is a little smaller than Facebook. It has about 300 million users. And the messages on the Twitter platform tend to be kind of shorter in length due to the restrictions with the website. Previously, it was 140 characters, but now it's up to 280 characters. Or with this organization, you can post messages that can be read and posted by users of the platform so that the messages can be shared with their followers. Now, for organizations, they can utilize Twitter as a method of communicating with their audience. Uh, they would just need to use keywords in order to convey their messages, you know, due to the character limits. They can use things called hashtags, uh, and basically that is a tag, and you can tag a specific amount of text, and that text can actually be <coughs> tracked. And this can allow an organization to track their messages or their offerings, and this can give them valuable data on customers <clears throat> or potential customers, and can allow business to track complaints or any other issues and address them directly. Uh, Pinterest is the smaller of the three that I'm going to talk about, uh, of the three media social media platforms. It only has about 150 to 175 million users. Pinterest is a social media platform, and it allows users to locate information on the internet. And what the, and you can do is uh, utilize. Uh, pictures or videos or what they call GIFs, which is a graphic interchange format, uh, and that can be and that can be like images or maybe even cartoons. Uh, Pinterest is more of a visual site, so that it would be beneficial for companies who are looking to have their products seen visually by customers or even potential customers. Uh, Pinterest has options for companies uh, to connect links and images that will allow users to click on those links and images, and then that will take you to um, a company's preferred site. Um, what this can do is lead to sales opportunities for businesses and give customers quick accessibility to, to making purchases for those products or products that they may even be interested in. Uh, social platforms now play an important role in businesses communicating with their customers and potential customers. These platforms now play an important role in marketing and advertising and sales. Additionally, they can be used to track habits and tendencies of customers, and this data can be used uh, for targeting specific customers. I'm actually familiar with an organization that's created an entire department. Uh, it's called Digital Operations, and what their job is to do is they actually just go out to the different social media platforms, and they track uh, complaints, concerns, issues, and then they track history. And what they do is in turn use that data, and then they take that data and create specific um, specifically targeted messages for these customers. So if you click on uh, 
multiple energy companies, then they'll make you an offer because the assumption would be that you need an energy company. If you're with an energy company and maybe you're selecting uh, addresses or you're looking to at a website such as Zillow, then they would offer you, uh, they would produce an offer or message for you that offers you a new offer or a new term offer for new customers. So again, uh, the social media platforms, they are now uh, playing a permanent role in organizations and I believe they are here to stay and there are multiple benefits by a company offering uh, their services via a social media platform.